How's everybody doing today? Um, basically, what what we're going going to start right now is um, a series. Once again, uh, what we're going to be doing is going over time code, um, the timeline editor, and th things like that with Campsys. Um, I have down uh, as a download this uh, file that you guys can grab uh, free of charge, of course. Um, this is all just you know help helping each other learn so we can hopefully better the industry and everything that we do um, and and just ultimately have fun and help each other out and just learn new things from different people because um, that's really what 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 this is all about um, so yeah um, go ahead and, and download the the show file and let's have fun so in the, in this first video what we're gonna do um, and and obviously like you guys already know I don't edit anything I just start the the, the recording and we just go right right on through um, I like it that way because you guys can see sometimes I make mistakes um, you know and, and maybe you guys can encounter some of those same mistakes um, and instead of getting stuck and, and finding out oh look what what how, how did he fix that um, that is why I, I just like to hit record go start start to finish um, as, as we're working so anyways let's go ahead and talk about this show file really quick um, it's pretty simple it, it's uh, it is a lot of lights um, but nothing real complex we're gonna be using a four trust system um, and down here at the bottom, I, I, I just laid a truss out there because it made it e a lot easier in the visualizer just to attach these heads onto that truss. Um, so we'll be using some of the Cenius Unicos from Clay Packy on the downstage truss, truss one. Truss two, uh, we got some Mythos and we got some of the, the MIDI bees from Clay Packy and as well as the FX bees from Chave. Um, and it's the same thing, just opposite on on trust three and trust four is a an exact match of trust two um and yeah we're going to be using 12 of each fixture on 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 all the trusses except for the effects bees those, those are a lot um I, I went ahead and tossed 24 of them because i, th I thought it looked pretty good so in in the show file what, what you're going to find um is in this first tab is palettes and I have di different groups here selected. Here, I'm going to go ahead and, and turn on the highlight so you guys can see what, what fixtures we're talking about. Um, these are our mythos, which we're calling our spots. Um, they're they're, they're, they're pretty, pretty decent hybrid spot. Um, you know, they've got some nice thick beams. But in, anyway, back to focus, David. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, in, in these groups, um, you got all of them. I got a, a symmetrical group. I did not add the the, the deck spots in there. Um, you can if you want to. It's a, it's totally up to you. Um, next, we have one system, system two, system three. Um, we have our deck. Same with the wash. Exact same thing. Symmetrical uh, group. We got our wash one, wash two, wash three. And for battens... Um, I gotta change the name on this. Let's call it all FXB. The reason why it says batten because I was going to use the Tambora batten, um, but I, I don't think my my computer really liked it, so I went ahead and and just changed it for the FXBs. And when when I started adding some of the effects, um, I was pretty happy. It, it, these things are pretty cool. Um, I wish they were a little bit brighter, but um, they're, they're still a great fixture. Um, so yeah, we got our symmetrical, our system one, system two, and system three. So as you can tell, I haven't added any presets in Beam. Um, we can go ahead and add and add that in. Um, kind of kind of just slipped my mind to be honest. Um, but let's go ahead and check out some of these um, um, positions that that I preset. So we got we got a home one, home two. Our cross one, cross two, cross three, center. We got another center, a third center, which I, I, I like this. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've got one fly out, fly out number two, fly out number three. And so with, when, when we're working with, with time code and, and things like that, well, really any, 
any uh, show file. I got into something something like this. It's real simple, just left and right, and I'll show you why. Um, there there's some some of these effects that that I that I made that I think look pretty cool. Um, so we'll, we'll get into that in a moment. Got a, a keys, a drums, and a left guitar. We'll we'll see how if we end up using that um, at all. But yeah. So all washed. Let's check out some of these. They're pretty much the same um, with positions. They're real, real, real similar um, to each other. It, it's just a lot easier to to remember what I have going on. Great. And lastly, our effects bees. We got different cross. We got some centers. We got another center. Fly out. Another one. Another one. Left and the right. Okay, cool. Let's see. And then just a real basic um, home position for these guys, which I will eventually just end up kind of kind of zooming them in a little bit. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and save that. Let's see. Zoom in. There we go. Cool. So let me go ahead and show you some some of the effects that that I came up with. Um, and the oh, let's go over these tabs again. Sorry. So next tab, we're gonna have our timeline editor. Tab three, which becomes layout three. Essentially, these are all just layouts. Um, it's gonna be for our Q stack, so we can see it. We can see our heads if we want to select something specific. Um, here we got some effects that, that I made. Um, group and color, group position, group beam, group intensity, and just a large intensity. And we got two opens one, uh, open ones as well. All right, cool. So let's check out some of these some of these effects. Let's go ahead and give it some some intensity. And let's keep keep everything at home for the moment. It's just there we go. Um, okay. Great. So I have selected my, my my symmetrical group. So let me go ahead and show you some of some of these circles. It's just real real simple, kind of, kind of like left left to right type deal. We got a symmetrical circle um, going on as well. I did make it a little bit large. Um, you can go in and, and edit it, but I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. Um, symmetrical circle number two. So what this is kind of kind of like a you, you see these groups, um, so it just makes it a little bit more defined. I think 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 it looks pretty nice. So this is that that sweep with the positions left and right. Um, let me go ahead and show you first, and at zero because I went ahead and added some 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 intensity as well. So it kind of gives a nice nice little sweep, and all it is inside of this effect is just pulling information from two position palettes being that left and right and simply adding in a, a dim chase and that's what what we get right here so it, it, it's something that I, th I think looks uh, fantastic cool so um, the next one is the bird Th this is basically pulling from um, our fly out number two and our fly out number three with I think I think it looks pretty cool and it has lots of potential I think um, maybe with, with with a big gobo or something like that um, but I, I, I just kind of like how how it almost seems like like its wings um, you know like like an eagle flying or something and as you guys can tell it is just a little bit offset to kind of give it well in my mind it made, it made it seem like a little bit more realistic um, Let's see. The next one we've got a random tilt dim. Go ahead and take it off. So something like that. Let's see. Let's get rid of it. Symmetrical wave. Yay! All right. A random red effect. And what what I did with with the color effect, I did go 50/50 on the existing color and all it is is adding red so for example let's um let's show you a little bit 
of what we can do. Um, let's say we go to, uh, yeah, cyan. So when we add red, that's all it is. It's not going to mess with your, your cyan at all. Um, so, yeah, it looks fantastic, I think. Cool. All right. Well, let's get rid of that. Uh, same thing, just green. Got a random green. Um, got a random blue. They're 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 all the same as far as the 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 effect information. Okay, get rid of the intensity and show you ran, random dim, random little dim chase. And mind you, we, we can go ahead and, and, and adjust like the speed and things like that so, so we can work on the specific portion of the song. Um, we've got a symmetrical dim chase. We've got a left to right dim chase. There you go. Mm -hmm. A dim flick. So this would, for Let's see, just, just kind of give you a better idea. Probably should have had a dark from the start. So there we go. Um, this, it, it, it does affect um, these lights as well. Um, but I, I kind of made those more specific to the effects bees. Uh, reason being because the, the, the effects bees have, um, as, you, as you guys know, they, those suckers do a lot. Like, they... They, they do a lot and the effects don't really make sense with with the other lights um, so I, I went ahead and, and and adjusted those but here we got symmetrical um, red which I have to fix well that that actually looks kind of kind of nice so I'll actually go ahead and keep that um, all right perfect I actually like that I made I made the the symmetrical reds and stuff with the with the effects bees, so so cool. Let's go ahead and um, move this, put it into the column with the effects bees. Move that, and we'll go ahead and re rename them as well. Um, I do want to keep those. This is more like a like a fade red. That's what I'll call it. You can call it whatever you like as well. Maybe a fade green. Set fade blue. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and, and uh, make sure we got our symmetrical. Yep. Okay, cool. Color. I just grab the red flick. Um, direction, center out. And I do want to go to 50%. Probably should have grabbed the mouse. It would have been much easier. But anyways, that, that looks great. That looks great right there. Let's go to our effects. And now we have our symmetrical red. Boom. I'm going to do the same thing with green and blue. I'm sure there you could just go out this way and just poof, toss it in right there as well. I should have just thought about that, Dave. Green. There we go. Move it. Now let's finish off with our blue. Want it at 50%. Go all the way to the left. Direction. Center out. Cool. I'm not too worried about the speed at the moment. Symmetrical blue. Cool. Now, I just want to go ahead and double check that, that this is going to work with these guys. Symmetrical red. Let's see. Oh. I am going to fix this. Yeah. All right. Cool. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me go ahead and show you those uh those effects with the effects bees real real quick. 
bring this home go to your effects and here's that that circle effects B so I think it's really cool because it it, it, it gives it a, a really 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 big look um, let's see this one's cool it's just it's just a lot kind of like like a little searchlight party kind of deal going on there so that, that's pretty cool um, this one I like as well once it gets to it come on there you go so let's see if it <laughs> I can't remember what put what what position I had it in maybe it was a fly Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, get rid of that. Red fade. It's the the same thing. It's it's just a a, a symmetrical. Well, I guess with the effects bees, it's 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 more symmetrical. Um, let's see what what this one looks like with the effects bees. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let's speed, let's speed this up a little bit. Hmm. All right, we can use it. Cool. Well, um, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and bring some brightness back up into the room. Cool. So that's that's basically our, our starting um, file. On the next video, what we're going to do, we're going to actually upload uh, the song into um, the file and it's just we'll, we'll do we'll do a simple song um, and and yeah so I'm, I'm kind of kind of working on on that right now on, on selecting a, a song kind of going in with with something uh, not too over the top you know something that, that that we can really train on and have some fun with um, and we will touch base on on my process or one of my processes with uh, with working with with time code and stuff. Um, there's several different ways that that you can go about it. For example, you can um, write down on a piece of paper. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Write down on a piece of paper the how how many hits um, the song contains, how many changes and things like that. Does does a song contain? Um, we can just add add cues in as the song is playing. Um, so there, there's several ways to, to go about this. This is, this is something I'm, re I'm really excited for. Um, and I hope you guys are excited as well because it's going to be lots and lots and lots of fun. So thank you guys for, for watching this one. Um, like I said, please uh, subscribe. Please like, like the channel, like the video, and, and follow along. Tell, tell you guys as friends, maybe upcoming LDs, to, to check out the, the, the channel. And ho hopefully we can all just keep on growing and learning from each other. Cool. So thanks and catch you guys on the next one.